This is Applied Numerical Analysis by Curtis F. Gerald. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. It's a book on numerical analysis. You can, in theory, use a book like this, sit down with a piece of paper, a pencil, and get to work and learn numerical analysis with a book like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of this book and what it contains. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this book, Applied Numerical Analysis, uh, the second edition by Curtis F. Gerald, uh, published by Addison Wesley. I believe this one is from 1980. And again, you could use a book um, like this to teach yourself numerical analysis, right? You could learn on your own. Um, it, is, it is possible. California Polytechnic State University, San Luis Obispo. And then here we have the copyright. You can see it is, it is quite old, 1980. This is the second printing. And let's just take a, a brief look here and, and see what it says in the preface. The second edition of Applied Numerical Analysis continues the emphasis that the first edition placed on applications. Okay, it talks about the range of topics much broader than in the most elementary texts has been retained. So the student is introduced to a wide selection of numerical procedures and several newer methods have been added. So here it talks about the level. The level of the material is still directed to the sophomore and junior student in engineering, science, mathematics, and computer science. An informal tone, very nice. And, and here are the contents of this wonderful book. Solution of Nonlinear Equations. By the way, before I forget, I will leave a link in the description to this exact copy of the book um, and, uh, or a link on Amazon if you wanna check out um, this book there. Solving Sets of Equations. Interpolating polynomials, numerical differentiation, and numerical integration. And then here we have the numerical solution of ordinary differential equations, boundary value problems, and characteristic value problems. Oh, this is cool. Numerical solution of elliptic partial differential equations, and partial differential equations, hyperbolic partial differential equations, curve fitting, and some other things. And then you have answers to some of the exercises uh, in the back of the book. That's A19, let's take a look at that so you see what that is, what that contains, you know, what kind of, um, how many answers do they give you? So you can see here, um, there are just, there's just some, right? It's just some of the exercises, certainly not most, um, certainly less than the evens and the odds. I mean, that's, um, or the odds, right? One, two, six, 12, 14. It really skips a lot of, of problems. But the fact that you have any in a book with so many topics like this, it's, it's not common. You know, I have, I have thousands of math books and I don't have that many on numerical analysis. And from the ones that I do have, I would certainly say that this one does have a, a lot of topics. A program for the simple wave equation, cool. Nice. Just gotta give this a whiff, sorry, just, it's just calling me. Ah, incredible, smells amazing. So yeah, it's a book you could use to, to learn Numerical analysis, here's an example. Let's take a look at this here. This is interesting. It says here, method of linear interpolation. Okay, it's pretty cool. So you have a function that's linear over this interval where these are opposite signs, okay. So you have a graph here. The method of false position, it says here. And by the Latinized version, regula falsi. It is also a very old method. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, it, it's compared to Newton's method in the next section. So yeah, it's very, very uh, similar, right? So Newton's method is one that you learn in a Calculus One course. If you take Calculus One, you'll, you'll study some, some numerical analysis. You'll do some things like Newton's method. And in Calculus, you might do Simpson's rule or the trapezoid rule. Um, those are methods for approximating integrals. So yeah, so numerical analysis, it's a whole field. It's a whole field of mathematics. I mean, unless we have an entire book uh, on, on the actual subject. Now, I haven't looked. Um, I guess I can look really quick right now. I'm just going to look uh, on, on the internet just to see if this book uh, is available uh, on Amazon. It is. It is available on Amazon. It is. I just checked. So when I post this video, I'll leave a link. Uh, and that helps me greatly, by the way, if you use that link. Um, so I'll leave some links to the book in case you want to, to check it out. It's kind of cool. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, check out my courses. I have courses on Udemy. Uh, but if you get them, again, use my links either from my website, mathsorcerer.com, or from the description of any of my videos. But Key takeaway from this video should be that this is a pretty good book for learning um, numerical analysis. Is it, is it the only thing you need? Uh, no. Uh, honestly, when you're trying to learn something really, really hard, you just need as many resources as possible and as many books as possible. Right? Surround yourself with books, surround yourself with knowledge, and start absorbing it. Right, And absorb what you can from each book. There's probably a ton of things in this book that you'll read, and you won't understand them and you'll read them again and you won't understand them and that's just the way it is, right, with, with higher level math. Uh, a lot of people will say like, oh, you only need one book for analysis or oh, you only need one book for abstract algebra. I mean, that's, that's good, it's great if you can do that and certainly you do have to spend a lot of time on those subjects so uh, no matter what book you use, you're gonna have to put in the time but I do think that having multiple books is better than just one because you can read multiple explanations and yeah, what's this here? Oh, this is cool. This is um, cubic spline, applications of cubic spline functions. That's the uh, section. But yeah. Yeah, all the approximation methods, I thought it was something else. All the approximation methods, they all look very similar uh, because they, a lot of them are, right? A lot of them are. Um, so. Once you learn a couple approximation methods and you kind of get the hang of it, um, I thought that was something else. And I was like, whoa, what is that? But it wasn't. Uh, I was thinking of a, of a method for, uh, another method for approximating uh, different, the solution to a differential equation. But yeah, yeah. Numerical analysis, pretty cool stuff. Uh, good book, good, good way to learn it. And I hope it's been helpful. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.